Hey everyone. Well, it's I've been informed that uh, I didn't introduce myself last week. So, hi, I'm Chris. Um, I want to thank you all for your feedback of my debut last week, and it was my first time in front of the camera, so I was a little nervous. But thank you very much. Um, so this week, starting this week, uh, I will be doing a pre and post game video. So I hope you like it. Enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Week four. Bombers and Stampeders in Calgary. Two teams tied for first in the West at two and one. Four points each. It's going to be a tough matchup. Now, coming off a short week and a narrow win over Toronto, Calgary has a 13th man advantage, which the crowd will play a factor in the game. Bo Levi Mitchell is no stranger to success. He possesses the ability, the power to move the ball, and he's just a good quarterback. Um, to date, he's sitting at 66 of 100 and a total of 810 yards. Now, keep in mind, we're going in week four. He's got eight, 810 yards. <laughs> really? Wow, this guy's good. But I believe he's just warming up, so I, I know he's going to go a lot further. Calgary also has John Cornish, their running back powerhouse. This guy is a brick poop house. Um, he's got 39 carries, 185 yards, with two touchdowns. Now, I, I compared to last year, he can do a whole lot better, and I think he will. Although, I believe the players and coaches are slowly finding an answer for this guy. Calgary has the potential to create a whole lot of havoc, <laughs> whole lot of havoc for players and coaches alike. Now we have the Bombers. Sure, last week it was a defensive uh, points game, but Drew Willie did move the ball well. Cotton, Marshall were stopped quickly, and more, more in Denmark and Kohler, uh made some really great plays. Now Drew, Drew Willie is sitting at. Uh, pretty pretty low in the standings, in fact. He's only 44, 45 of 60 for 624 yards. Now, okay, we don't have much to really compare it to, seeing as how he sucked so bad last year. But he can throw, he can hit his numbers. We just have to wait to see him do it. Um, so, here's my game prediction for tonight's game. It's going to be a high yardage ground and pound. That's my prediction. High yardage, ground and pound. You can almost guarantee the Bombers coaching staff has been working on the run plays. Paris Cotton, here's another prediction, Paris Cotton will regain his nickname, The Ghost. Um, Denmark and Moore, not only will, will they be playmakers, they'll be highlight makers. I Watch. I'm not putting any money on it. But... Uh, <laughs> Also, I'm, I believe there's going to be a few surprises from our hidden gem, Kohler. Um, he's just waiting back there. He, his number is going to come up tonight, and I believe he's going to make a couple key key plays. So, all in all, so far, Calgary and Winnipeg are pretty evenly matched. Um, but we've got last year's champs against last year's chumps. So it's going to be a tough call. So my game prediction is a high-scoring match up with Winnipeg up by 10. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tina's uh, channel for more fun antics. Go Blue!